the heck? Good morning, good morning. What happened to your ear? Why is it crooked? Are you ready to go outside? You're lazy, babe. Where are you going? Now that I have made lunch, I ended up making a little salad. It is just uh, romaine lettuce hearts, I believe, with mild cheddar cheese, honey mustard, and then the correct pepper turkey from Sam's Club. And then, of course, I made coffee. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to plan out the rest of my day while I eat lunch. And then I think after that, I'm going to go get ready and head to the pool. Just now realizing I left my socks on with my Burks. Oops. Here are the socks and Burks in question. Gotta love that. Yeah, I think I got a little sunburn. Y'all see? My legs. They're sunburned too. Oh, it's bright. Oh.
is now a little after eight. I am just now sitting down to eat dinner. I have, let me show you. I have pasta with marinara sauce and four different kinds of cheese. I have grilled, sauteed, steamed, I'm not real sure, veggies. And then a piece of baked chicken with marinara and Parmesan on top as in a gluten-free version of chicken and parm. I am sitting down with a body armor and then I'm going to watch a daughter from another mother. I'm gonna sit here and finish eating dinner and then after that I am going to uh, Actually, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I started a load of laundry, as you saw. I cooked dinner, cleaned up the kitchen a little bit. Um, put the trash out. I really don't know what else is left besides, like, sweeping, vacuuming, and mopping. And I, that might just have to wait till tomorrow. Because we have quiet hours where we're not... Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Where we're not allowed to make, like, a lot of noise. So, like, loud movies, loud music, uh vacuuming all of that is prohibited and you can get fined for it so that may have to wait until tomorrow morning but right now i'm gonna finish eating and then we'll see where it goes from there i'm not gonna lie it is now 12 30 at night i am still sitting here editing i still need to take buck outside for his other walk i took him out this morning for like an hour, hour and a half this morning. And he played, like I let him get in the pond and everything. Like, he had a lot of fun. He absolutely loved it. So he got all of his tired, like not tired. He got all of like his, I don't know what I'm trying to say. He had all of his energy out this morning, and so he really had a good time then. But I still need to take him out again because he did eat and he needs to go to the bathroom. I, I, I did do my nails again. They are now pink rather than one hand being green and then four fingers being black and then one finger being purple. So I did them all pink. And so now I'm just sitting here editing. I think I'm going to edit for like maybe 10 more minutes and then take him outside. And then when I get back, probably get ready for bed. Yeah, probably get ready for bed and then either continue to edit or either continue to edit or I will go to bed or maybe both. I may edit in bed. I'm not sure yet, but I know I need to continue to edit for a little bit longer and then take him outside for sure because he needs to go outside before I go to bed. bunny ears right there it's so cute Aww. but anyway I need to do that and then I need oh crap I gotta figure out what I'm doing tomorrow okay well then that's what we're gonna do we're gonna figure out what I'm doing tomorrow real quick and put editing off for a little bit longer and then I'll take him out and then we'll see from there. So let's figure out what I'm supposed to be doing tomorrow. that was a very short time outside very short i went out there and i obviously did not bundle up but sort of kind of bundled up like i have on a jacket and then i had on some sweatpants and it was freezing was it actually freezing no it's like 55 degrees 
but that was cold to me and I, I was literally shivering the one thing about buck is when he's done he's done he, he's not doing much more you know he probably won't do anything anything anymore so i know he was done i was done so we came back inside it was a very short time but i'm about to get ready for bed i'm starting to get a headache so then that's gonna be it for the editing tonight so i'm probably going to get ready for bed and see what that takes us i've got to wash my face brush my teeth and then i've got to slather my body down in just slather the right word coat my body down in lotion and probably baby oil as well uh because well i got a little sunburnt today i don't I feel like you can tell it on my face, like by my forehead a little bit and then my nose. I got a little sunburnt and I'm actually allergic to like 99% of the sunscreens I've ever tried. And I've tried all of the, oh, excuse me, all of the ones from Walmart that are like Walmart brand. I've tried all of the Neutrogena ones. I have tried B tan. I've tried baby something it's, i think that's the brand i've tried the ones from dollar general i've tried the ones in the blue can and the orange can and all that i'm allergic to all of them we're so we're not real sure what's in them but they give me like chemical burns i don't know if you can i don't know where is it okay oh i don't know. Uh, i can't lift my leg up that high i don't know I don't think you could see any of them. Can y'all see that? All, right, all of this right here, it's not really red anymore, but it was really red. Oh. Oh. But a little bit right there. Anyway, all of that is a chemical burn from sunscreen. I was able to use B tan last summer, last summer, and I loved it. I love the smell of it, I love the consistency, I loved it. And so I used it yesterday while I was laying out. And I woke up this morning and just it, like claw, I felt like I was clawing my skin off. I was scratching so much. So I can't really use that one. And obviously I've got a chemical burn showing up. And it's starting to show up here too. Yeah. I don't know if you can. Like it starts off as texture. And then it'll, it'll turn into it. And um. Uh, yeah, I get one at least twice a year because like somehow, some way halfway through the summer my skin changes and I'm allergic to a new one. But that's the thing is once I'm allergic to something, I can't go back. Like it, it once I hear allergic, once I'm allergic, I'm done. Like I can never pick it back up. But as long as I'm not allergic to it, I'm good. So I've got to find a new sunscreen. I tried Blue Lizard a couple of years ago. I don't remember if it was the summer of 21 or if it was the summer of 2020. I think it was the summer of 21. Like, anyway, I tried it then and I hated it. I'm not gonna lie, I hated it. I hated the consistency, I hated the smell, I hated the way it felt on my skin. Like, it, it felt like I was greasy but sticky. Like, I, I just I hated it, but it did so well. Like, I loved the coverage it had. Like, I could put it on once and then, like, in five hours reapply. It, and I was covered. I absolutely loved it. It's by an Australian brand. So, seeing, like, where they're placed on the globe or something is supposed to be really good. Anyway, loved it. I've still got a bottle of it, but I'm scared to use it because I'm scared it's still going to be, like, bad on my... Like, it, it's... Like, the product's going to be expired. Like I've got two tubes of it, and I've got one that's open and one that's not. So I'm hoping the one that's not will be, still be good. But I gotta check and see on that one because I don't. I don't know. And I also burnt my lips. That's why they're really red. Mm -hmm. I'm about to wash my face because I've got. I don't know if you can see that, but I got a pimple there, and then another one here. They're really small, but they hurt.
a, because I was hoping it was just like Australian sunscreens that I could wear. Because Blue Lizard was the first one I ever tried a couple of years ago. That was like actually labeled as like an Australian brand. So I picked up a different one. And I used it for about a, not even a week. I used it once. And uh, I broke out really bad. Ended up calling my doctor, my pediatrician. Like, this pediatrician I hadn't seen about COVID. When did I get COVID? 21? No, 22. It was like August of 22, 2022. So I text him through the patient portal because like I still have access to it because like the way that it works for me is you still have access to your records. Like, you, you can't get an appointment once you turn 21 or 18, I don't remember. But anyway, you can still get your records and still chat about your records. So I texted him and I was like, I got a chemical burn from sunscreen again. And he's like, okay, great, here's what you do. Get me some remedies to do at home without having to do like over-the-counter medication. So we did that and it worked. But now I'm just confused because I've never had one back to back like this. And they've always been a couple of weeks apart. About a couple of weeks, I mean like five to six weeks apart. So I'm trying to figure this one out. I'm also wondering if the sunscreen was just expired and I'm not allergic to it, but would it be a back to back? Oh, God, it's hot. But would it be a back to back? Chemical burns, it's just. It's getting worse. So anyway, I bought the sunscreen and stuff and I wanna go return it. And then I'm gonna do some research and try and find if there's another one I can use. So if any of y'all have recommendations on sunscreen, please let me know. I know for a fact that I am allergic to lavender, zinc, and then I forgot the other one. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. But I'm allergic to all three of those things. So if y'all have any recommendations, let me know. I've never had a good experience with sprays. So if it's a lotion, even better. So if you have any recommendations, let me know because a girl's going to struggle. It is still the, it's still February. Fe I live in the South, like in South Louisiana, which I know it's not the sunniest. It's not the hottest. It, it's not like that. But I do spend a lot of my time out in the summer, out by the pool. So if you have any recommendations, let me know, please. My skin was looking so good before it got sunburned. Actually, that's a lie. We did, I waxed my upper lip for most of the time, like most of the time. But this last time, we're not real sure exactly what happened with the wax or what. It was like a honey wax. And I waxed this side, everything was great, grand, wonderful. I've waxed my armpits, like everything went great. Waxed like right here, everything went fine. And then I gotta wax this and it rips off the top layer of my skin. So I've been fighting with that for a couple of weeks. I think we're going on like this is like day 17 or 18 since it's happened. Actually no, it's longer than that. It happened before Valentine's Day, and it's February 26th, 27th right now, something like that. So it's, it's yeah, it's been a little over two weeks. Or so, I don't know, my math ain't mathing right now. Anyway, I've been dealing with that, but everything else is looking great. Like no acne, too bad, too bad. I had my period and I didn't have a problem with any of it. And now that it, I'm sunburned, it, all the texture wants to show up. I'm almost out. The texture wants to show up, all of it. So that's great. All right, I'm gonna cut my body down in lotion and then I'll be right back.